to Yo, what up survivors? Welcome to another mind blowing Z Log. I'm Zombie Go Boom, I'm Chuck Murray. I'm Charles Fultz. And we just finished killing not only zombies, but obviously all of these cinder blocks. You guys wanted some legitimate torture tests. And let me tell you, this is what's happening tomorrow. Boom. This is the Brooklyn Smasher. Thank you to Cold Steel for sending us this thing. And we forgot to destroy this uh, this uh, brick right here. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of the power of this unbreakable baseball bat. I took a lot, but I was using this part. If I use the actual baseball bat part and I don't hold it with my hand, it's that easy. This thing is amazing, okay? And you're going to be able to win your very own. We'll tell you how the day after tomorrow. Tomorrow you're going to be able to see the torture test. The day after tomorrow you can win one of these. And of course, if you want to help support the show, you can buy one um, at zombiegoboom.com or obviously at Cold Steel. Dot com. This thing uh, did really well, and we also tested something else by K-Bar that did an amazing, amazing job. Um, check out the heads right here. This is the carnage that you see pretty much on a daily here at Zombie Go Boom headquarters. <laughs> Here's some shirts. Headquarters. Headquarters. Um, bloody, bloody, bloody. I got blood all over my face already, cleaned up and everything, and obviously we're uh, putting everything up. And, uh, man, it's been a really fun day, actually. And uh, I can't wait to edit this footage that we shot today and, and show it to you guys because I think you guys will be really excited to see it too. Um, I know, I know, we've been testing a lot of weapons, which is why we decided to do this baseball bat episode because you guys want to see more objects. We're going to be testing out a shovel very soon. We're going to be testing out a sign um, so that we can see if Maggie from The Walking Dead could have actually killed those zombies with that street sign. We got a legitimate street sign made with the Zombie Go Boom logo. It's pretty sweet and it might work. Like when I saw that episode, I was like, no way. But uh, actually seeing one of those, you know, in person, it's very possible that it could work. Uh, what else? You got anything? Win the lottery. Win the lottery and then spend your money at zombiegoboom.com because we would certainly like that. That'd be like us winning the lottery. Yeah, help us win the lottery. I'm just kidding. No, but I mean, you guys, you know, like we do actually, I'm going to be honest here. We do actually get a lot of like here and there. Not a lot, but most of the people that comment, like especially on the main channel, are haters. They're not necessarily fans. So they always uh, just basically find the one thing that they don't like and then they just talk about that. Even though the like to dislike ratio is like likes way up here, dislikes way down here. So it's these people that comment a lot. So if you have something good to say, some constructive criticism, something nice to say, please comment as well so that, you know, it's not just the haters commenting. And I know a lot of you guys that love the show still do comment, but I wish a lot more of you guys would comment. But anyway, as far as the haters are concerned, they say a lot of stuff like you guys sell out and blah, blah, blah. And you've seen me talk about that. You've seen me talk about selling out and like, are we selling out? We're just trying to make money, guys, doing and make a living, basically pay the bills doing what we love to do. But here's the thing. We're not making you go to zombiegoboom.com to buy our stuff. Uh, we just have the option up there in case you guys do love us and love the show enough that you want to help support it so that you can keep seeing it not only happen every week but hopefully happen every day and not just that but happen even bigger like we want to michael bay this bitch you know what i'm saying we want to like have these rigs that are like rotational and we want to have uh, we want to be able to destroy like five ivan heads an episode not just one and we want to have we want to be able to do like three or four episodes a week and we want to do a lot of stuff like here's the thing like you guys complain about us like killing fruit like people are starving all over the world and and we're destroying fruit well yeah that's sad but you know what there's no way we can send that fruit to those people instead we're paying money to use that fruit to give you guys some pretty awesome entertainment and to be honest Food's kind of expensive. We bought like, we're gonna do a, like a fruit ninja kind of episode where Charles and I like cut fruit in the air. So start complaining now, we haven't done it, but we're gonna. And uh, and it's, uh, man, 
we bought like seventy-four dollars worth of fruit, and it wasn't even that much. It's like maybe like five bags of fruit. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Fruit's pretty expensive, guys. So like, as far as like those complainers about wasting food, well, at least it's not meat, you know. And at least it actually grows on trees, like literally grows on trees, which is nice. And it's also, you know. Our money that we're putting back in to give you guys some pretty freaking awesome entertainment. I'm actually really excited about this Fruit Ninja thing because it's going to be pretty awesome. And that's another thing that we're doing in order to get you guys some different content. Because, I, I, you know, you guys might get bored watching the same thing over and over and over again. But anyway, click that like button, please. Comment, please. Um, and uh, subscribe, please, if you haven't. Especially to this channel. This is our second channel. Uh, buy our video game if you if you can. Oh, actually, it's free. I mean, you can buy the 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 you know three dollar version, but you can also just download it for free if you have a Droid iOS version coming soon, Windows Phone soon, hopefully. Uh, Late is unless you have some. Actually, we yeah. have a whole bunch of stuff on the second channel. It's coming out. Oh so. God damn it! Why am I not <laughs> talking about it? Go ahead. Uh, the point of what I'm trying to say here is we've got all kinds of great new content from YouTubers that are collabing and uh, we're going to be featuring uh, new YouTubers on Zombie Go Boom TV too, including Prepared Mind 101, EDC House, Sur uh, Soul Survivor Times 2. Uh, we might even be working with uh, GY6Vids. Sorry, I screwed that up in the right there in the beginning. But uh, Wolf Cross, which is a fan that's now a new dude. Uh, we also have Bite Size with Harry Bowles. We've got Caleb Cardinal, ZGB Report. We're going to have Fated Destiny and a whole, whole lot more. So... That's all I got. Man. Yeah, man. Zombie Go Boom TV 2 is becoming a thing of its own. Like, a, like the little monster that could. And it's going to be awesome. There's going to be a lot of interesting content for you guys. For you guys that are into more like survival videos, not necessarily just killing zombies, Zombie Go Boom TV 2 is your destination. I mean, it's going to be pretty awesome. Survival videos, uh, weapon reviews, things like that. Things that you're used to and then things that you're not used to. On Zombie Go Boom TV 2, Chris from Prepared Mind 101 did an episode about... Uh, addiction during the apocalypse and super interesting topic nobody ever really thought about that until he did and well, we were I like mean, holy moly that's awesome a lot of people have thought about it it's just not a lot of people want to talk about it right right it's not it's not a topic that many people broach I've but, certainly thought about it yeah I mean you know I used to I used to smoke cigarettes I don't anymore I quit mm -hmm. okay and I had to smoke cigars too so that I would quit don't quit smoking cigarettes by smoking cigars it's like it doesn't work it's worse it's worse for you but uh, especially because I used to inhale it yeah. just really bad but and anyway I'm, I don't I don't anymore yeah. but if the zombie apocalypse had happened while I was still a cigarette smoker geez my friends I would have been like Nick fitting out the butt maybe I don't know I I, I could have I mean uh, I thought about making a, a move. No, actually, it was Chaz. Chaz had an idea. Chaz and my friend Gabe. Like you guys have met Gabe. Uh, he was in a Z log a long time ago. And you've met Chaz. Chaz, I don't want to be famous. I design shirts and do graphics. Chaz. Uh, basically, their idea was these uh, guys. Uh, they, they, you know, they have everything that they need, and uh, in their post-apocalyptic situation, they're holed in and they're fine, except they don't have cigarettes and they're all smokers. So they decide to venture out just to get cigarettes. And then they end up just finding a bag of roll your owns. And if you guys know about rolling your own cigarettes, it's kind of a pain in the butt and you don't really get the super extra nicotine satisfaction that you do from like, uh, you know, camels and Mar uh, Marlboro. Marlboro. I can't even talk. Mostly because they put so much freaking nicotine in those cigarettes. It's ridiculous. Anyway, that's a tangent. You guys like tangents? Punch that like button. Hey, what about IMDB, by the way? Oh, yeah, we're on IMDB. I can put a link in the description below. Please help us out. Like, right now, we're the highest rated zombie show on world. all of IMDB in the world because you guys have gone over there and you've rated us and we're 9.1. Uh, Walking uh, Dead is like 8.7. Yeah, so you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for doing that for us. And, uh, and please go up there and rate us. Hopefully, hi. Please don't be a dick and just like rate us a one star because you're seeing this and you're like, that's not fair, man. This sucks, man. I, the, the Walking Dead so much better, or whatever. Rate blah, us blah, blah. based on what you feel about the show. Are we entertainment? Do you, are we entertaining? Do you love it? Uh, do you want more? Help us out, man. We want to get the word out there so that we not only can we be a big channel, but we can get our store to be bigger and we can, you know, just just sort of get people to to notice us you know it's that's a really difficult thing especially nowadays with so many people putting so many videos up on a daily so i mean 
it, it really does mean a lot to us every single time we get a message or a comment or whatever that says that you know we love you guys and we're trying our best and we're telling our old friends about you you guys are awesome you guys that do that um and it means the world to me and uh you know i, I, I love you guys uh that's it are you... you should even give a digital hug digital hug you guys want a digital hug oh see you guys later bye